Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I'm back with my tool, my favorite thing in the garden. Why, Mom? What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna repair this fence I made, protection for my walking onions and some garlic chives with the tool. Now some holes have developed. This was put up last year and I could have snagged it. I'm not sure, you know, what happened to it. But I'm just going to repair it. I'm not going to remove it. And I want to show you how easy it is to repair it. Now, how am I going to repair it where it stays with a stapler? I use a stapler all the time in the garden. Now, you could just drape it over and put zip ties over it. You could also use paper fasteners. I've used that with tool. It works. But this is quick. I will say that once you use a stapler on it, when you're done with the tool at the end of the year or two years, however long it lasts, bundle it up and throw it in the trash. You don't want to have metal staples in your garden. But this is a quick fix, even for just repairing a hole. There's a hole there. I might have snagged it on something. And I'm not sure. There might be another hole somewhere. But I'm going to drape something over the whole thing. These things, brand new, 40 yards. 54 inches wide. This is hunter green. You can use any color. Ten bucks. You can't. And if you buy more, the price goes down. I buy more, as you can see. I always buy more. And then all you all also need is I use a needle nose pliers. You can use any pliers and a scissors. This is all I'm going to need. The pliers is so when I staple it, I always want to make sure because I'm working in the garden that it's not sharp. What if the staple doesn't work really good? And so I use the needle nose pliers and I press it flat and then this way you can even rub on it. It's really nice and flat and you won't cut yourself. Now this is a regular paper stapler. No different than anything else. The only difference with it is this is a hand paper stapler. You can use any one. You can use a push one as long as you can push it any way you want. But well, to be honest, I found this at the thrift store for like two bucks and I thought I may use this someday and I do. But see, it's just a plain old paper, paper stapler. You don't need anything fancy. Let me get this done, and then we can take a look at it. And that should give you ideas on how to repair some of your tool that is not really ready for the garbage or ready for a ne its next job, but ready, well, just ready for a little repair. A little loving, tender care. Let's get this done. Well, while you're watching this, instead of putting music, I figured I'll talk. Now I could have removed the old, but you know what? The old is still good. It only had a few holes. So I figured if I just put tool on top, you know, drape another layer, I couldn't find my black. I know I have black. I just, well, I went into the box and I found the green first. I thought, all right, so green and black mix really nice. So I figured I would just drape it on top. That would give a double protection in case it got torn again because there'll be tool underneath as well. So why remove something that's still good and it's so cheap so I figured I'll just drape it on top didn't have to do anything else but just unwind it and I really used almost nothing of that bolt and I just draped it as you can see here now I could have left it just the way it is and just simply put some clothes pins but I figured I would staple it in case it got windy or, or something and as you can see on the bottom I sometimes take some scrap tool put a couple rocks in there, just rocks from the ground, and then I staple them in there and I can close pin them on or staple them on. And that kind of gives me a weight so my tool doesn't flap in the wind, especially when I'm just draping it on something. But that's how easy it is. It's like my favorite thing. There was a lot of different ways. I could have put paper fasteners, but I figured I would just staple it together and it will protect anything that's in there from rabbits or squirrels they don't like touching it because well they think it's a trap because they have little nails you know what that's it I mean look I don't have to say anything else I'm done so let's go back and see what I had to say after I was done and I'm telling you I just did this and it looks really cool I'm really happy with this can you see that I'm done this is unbelievable. I, it took me minutes to do. Let me get the camera off the tripod. And let me tell you a few little things I did. And then we're actually done. I made these last time. This is tool. And this has a rock in it. So it's weight. And I made it where it could be tied on to something. But I just stapled it on right there. See? Just stapled it right on. I was going to use the pliers. But when I touched it, it was already flat. And that is all there is to it. 
Now I don't have to take off the old tool. I can still lift it if I want to get to the walking onions where I'm going to plant some more. See? The rocks in the tool, they hold it. And then behind it, you could do the same thing. You could lay some rocks or something here to hold it down. Or the other thing you can do that I did last time is I rolled a stick in it and I just rolled it up and that will work too. You can also use clothespins. So that will work too. Whatever works for you, but I'm done. This job, which I could have taken the old tool off, would literally take me about three minutes. So now they're protected. I can get some more baby walking onions in there. I don't have to worry about it. So I hope I gave you an idea on how to fix your tool. And you could do the same thing if it's just a little hole. Just staple something on. And if you don't have a stapler, you know what? You can even patch it with a glue gun. Just And it glues really good. I've done it. Just run a circle around it. If you had a hole here, let's say, and then patch it with a piece of tool, and that works too. I've done it with screen doors when the dogs go through it. You guys have probably seen it all over the deck. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And keep in mind, tool is really easy to patch if you've covered an entire tote or even used it for a fence. Have a great day. Bye-bye.